What's up guys, JTales here with another video, and I'm bringing to you some Grand Blue content. My main right now is Catalina, I've been experimenting with a lot of different characters, but I'm just going to show you guys the basics of Catalina, so that you She's can formidable. know how to play her and win some matches hopefully. So let's get right into it, shall we? First thing to know is her pokes, right? Her, um, I really like her, her standing medium, or 5M, if you're using anime notation. Um, 5M is just a really good way to poke, right? So, if Gran was to press a button, or even do a special, uh, I can kind of go for, like, poke special, right? And if he hits a button in that time, he's gonna get hit. So, this is kind of a, a safe way to apply pressure after block strings, which we're gonna talk about in just a moment. But, um... So crouching medium and standing medium, done with the triangle button, if you're playing on pad. Um, it's just a good way to keep your opponent in check, and notice how I'm like, moving forward and still doing these crouching M's. So it's just a good way to apply pressure and to kind of, you know, do these micro steps, and to really pressure your opponent in neutral. So, the M in the air is also pretty good, I like it on the way down, if you're spacing at max range. It's just kind of good to poke horizontally, and you can catch people jumping as well in the air. So it's a good, like, gotcha tool. Um, as for jump-ins, if you want to jump in, um, S is definitely the button for you, which is your X button, or U under this notation. It's just really ambiguous, it's great for cross-ups, and you could also apply a lot of pressure if you can uh, jump in with this and catch them off guard. Now, as for defensive tools, um, I really like her Crouching Heavy, which is the universal anti-air button. So, Crouching Heavy is really good for stuffing jump-ins, um, and it even beats aerial hitboxes. So, if I block this jump-in, he gets to apply a lot of pressure on me, right? And I'm kind of stuck in jail, so to speak. Um, but if we actually 2H it, we actually get a follow-up, right? We can actually combo off of that as well. The important part about anti-airing with Catalina is to cancel your crouching heavy with S or U, right? Um, this allow the armor move allows you to cancel your normals, and then you can dash out of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 2H or crouching heavy grand when he jumps in, and then I'm going to cancel it with the armor in order to follow up. So I'm going to hit um, U dash forward, standing heavy, and then I could probably combo off of that. I could go into auto combo or something else, right? So... So you want to make sure that when you attack with this heavy here, you let them fall slightly, right? Because then that'll allow you to get the EX thrust into the corner. So if I hit Grand too high up, or too far away, it's gonna miss. But if I let him fall a little bit more, it's more likely to connect. And then I could combo off of that, I can go into Super if I want. Um, but generally, in the mid-screen, you're probably going to... Um, just go for like a one of these. You still get 4,200. It's it's not bad, but basically I'm avoid avoiding scaling. So if it's gonna kill, you might as well do the 4K one. But yeah, it's just super important to learn how to cancel the crouching heavy into um, you and then dash out of it to follow up. Um, very very important to Catalina's anti-air game. Aside from that, when you're playing neutral, you're kind of just hoping to poke with your um, standing medium, all uh, right? We're both, you know, maybe he's throwing projectiles, I'm throwing projectiles. So basically, I poke him, and then I get to combo and push him into the corner. If you ever... Don't see him. If you ever get, like, a jump in, you can do this to instantly get your opponent in the corner. It's a really good corner carry. Um at the end of the string to get him in the corner and then you start pressuring with lows, you can low high if you want um, and you just start poking, you just keep keep him at poke range and if he jumps, you anti-air him and you kind of just keep poking him, right? So let me show you guys what I like to do after block strings, there's a few things 
So one really cool thing you can do is your S, this move with the armor, you can cancel it by dashing by pressing forward forward or back back. So this move will armor one hit and then counter attack, right? So what you can do is you can jump in, H, 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 armor, move forward and grab. If they hit a button, you will get hit, but it's just a, a nice mix up to add to the end of your block string if you don't want to commit to the icicle, right? So, or you can go, and if they hit a button after you dash back, you can do the 214L. However, it's not safe, right? So if I do, if I do this, he's gonna be able to punish me afterwards. So you have to remember to try to backdash twice. So if you do that one is completely safe. Like now we're at max poke range, and if Grand hits a button, we're gonna beat him out, right? But the other one, the closer one, it's only gonna be for whiff punish. If you see him hit a button, then you get to uh, light thrust into him, quarter circle back L. And that will stuff the button, right? So for the most part with Catalina, you're doing this in neutral. And even if Gran is also throwing projectiles, you can use that time to uh, roll in and try to just poke and apply more pressure. And if you think he's going to throw another projectile, you jump in, boom, boom, boom. He's in the corner, get the grab, try to safe jump, block the DP, right? Uh, but Catalina is just really straightforward. She's one of the most straightforward characters in the game. When your opponent's at about this range, that's when you want to thrust because it, it's, it remains safe. If you do it too close, it will be punishable even if you hold block. So don't do the thrust too close. You can use do the medium thrust for more distance and also stay safe. It also leads into a combo on counter hit, so definitely keep that in mind. Uh, she's like Charlotte in that she has an invincible DP. And it's a similar animation too, from what I noticed, but uh... So I just really apply a lot of pressure like that for the most part. If I think they're gonna do something, I'll, I'll thrust in pressure. And then if they jump, I just anti-air combo off the anti-air. When I think they're gonna projectile, I jump in, slash, slash, slash. More block string stuff. Um, so let me show you guys some Catalina combos you guys can do to get big damage once you do finally get a hit. A lot of your combos are gonna be against the wall. Um, Catalina doesn't have too many combos from mid-screen because you need the wall bounce. One uh, one really cool thing you can do is uh, if you get a jumping S, you can do any combo. So like, you can do jumping S, HHH, quarter circle forward heavy, crouching heavy into light thrust, and then you get more hits into EX Thrust, actually. So, let's check it out. Right, and then there's a wall bounce, and you can combo off that wall bounce as well for a little bit more damage. So you get two thrusts in one combo there. Right, and notice how on the left-hand side you see combo limit. It's actually not too beneficial to do too many hits with Catalina specifically. You reach the combo limit pretty quickly as you noticed and your opponents will be able to tech out and kind of uh, avoid damage. So I keep Catalina combos pretty short when I play her. Um, I just kind of go for maximum damage rather than a crazy number of hits. This, this isn't really that type of game, it's more of a neutral type of game like Sam Show. Right, so with that we just did about 5,000 damage, half half his life off of a, you know, standing, uh, jump in S. Right, and then you can do combos into super. If you don't, if you're not at 30% health, make sure that your meter is at 100% um, at the top. If you're not lower than 30% health, so you can do the Ice Grenade Super, which is quarter circle forward twice into heavy. Right? So, and that has invincibility on it as well, so you can use it as a counter poke, or if they jump in, it can be an anti-air tool as well sometimes. So basically, 
your main combo structure is gonna be like a, a, a couple of hits on the ground into EX Icicle. This lets you combo more afterwards. Then you're gonna use your EX Thrust, right? Combo, combo, combo. You can do that, or you can go into a super there if you want. Right, and that's 4,400, almost half a life bar, using a lot of EXs. And then you can combo into super off of that wall bounce as well, and get about 5,500 damage. Maybe a little more actually, yeah, 5,600 or so. So you get more than half of someone's life off of a jumping S in the corner. It's really nice. So once you're mixing them up, and if you if you know... Um, actually, let me show you guys some safe jump setup. Alright guys, the last thing I want to talk to you about is something called a safe jump. And this is a universal setup. Whenever you sweep somebody, if you hold up and forward, and go for a falling S, depending on your character. Some of them have like dive kicks, which influence the timing, but generally for the most part, if you sweep and then hold up and forward, you will be able to guarantee that you block any wake up setup like DP or a super. So let me just show you guys what it looks like right now, very quickly. Right, so I'm trying to DP out of that situation. And if you notice, Catalina is able to block, or I get hit, and I'm actually doing the shortcut for the DP, I'm holding forward and mashing R1 to try and get it out as early as possible. So either I'm getting hit or she's blocking it, meaning that I'll eat a big punish right after, right? And you can see super, it's not going to work there. Right, she'll be able to block any supers. Just because of the way that the timing it works. Um, it's just going to be a guaranteed safe jump and you get to punish for free. So, once again guys, this is off of any sweep. So, hold down and press S and that timing is going to be universal, right? So even with Gran, I can go ahead and try to get that safe jump set up on Catalina. So, Basically what you want to do is try to either get a sweep at a good distance so that you can jump in with the safe jump. If they DP, they get punished. But also you can try to combo into your sweep so you can get a whole bunch of damage and then end it in a state where you're really advantageous and your opponent has to guess really hard. This setup right here is a combo into a sweep which then allows you to get a safe jump thereafter right so now if I get up mashing light or doing or doing a DP Catalina can actually um, just go ahead and do the safe jump setup and it's guaranteed and then sweep and then you get to attack and punish the wake up DP or the wake up super no matter, the only characters that can do something about this Don't are Zeta and Luane because they have counters. <laughs> yeah, um, this is a super important setup. It works for most characters in the game, so definitely keep it in mind. I like it with Catalina as well, just because she has a hard time mixing people up, I think. She's mainly a forward neutral kind of character, and you want to use her, her good range to poke opponents until, you know, you eventually win the game, and you get really good pokes and then you get combos off of those pokes but the safe jump setup allows her to apply more pressure and I think that's something that she's not terribly strong at. She's really good in the mid range but not so much like in your face you know what I mean. So yeah um, if you guys have any questions about Catalina or anything that I missed feel free to leave it in the comments below. Um, the game is very new and I'm still learning as well at the same time. Um, I will be updating guides and releasing more character guides as I learn more about the game and its mechanics. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Um, those of you guys who might have been playing Dragon Ball Fighters, 
might have remembered my guides for that. So definitely stick around, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, I will see you all next time.